Alright, alright, Shalom. I'm gonna give all praise to your how by Shim, Yahweh Shai, double honest our apostles slash elders for judging and less and blessed citation to you, brothers out there teaching and doing truth and sincerity. Um today's lesson, you know, on um, just dealing with the uh the generic Christian doctrine or Christian dogma. You know, um uh, let's see here, we're gonna we're gonna start off with definitions. We'll start out with definitions. This is a definition that we went into um, before, and we're gonna go into it again. You know, uh, with this this word, I'm going to this term dogma. Dogma. Um, you got dogma is um, comes from the Latin. It's philo philosophical tenet. Uh, Genitive opinion tenet literally that which one think is true, uh, to seem good. So the the thing we're, we're dealing with it with these generic Christians, these uh, wacky tacky Christians, is that they 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 have dogma. You know, it, it is um something that they think is true or seem or to seem good. You know what I'm saying? Just like brothers were saying, um, uh, they would they would um. They will rebuke us for cursing. They will rebuke us for uh, uh, cursing with the Bible of hand, being so-called racist. But then you'll condone hom homosexuality. Okay? So let's see what the Bible says. All right? So Isaiah 5 and 20 says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's what these, <clears throat> these wacky tacky Christians do, is that they put, call evil good. You call homosexuality love and, 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 um, and prosperity and, and that which, you call it godly, man. And you call good evil. All right, you call racism evil, you know what I'm saying? Which Most High is a racist. He's a separatist. All right, he always separates the good and the evil. All right. Lock has turn his TV on mute. You know what I'm saying? So, but what the Christians do adamantly, they call evil good and they call good evil. Okay. So what the Bible say? And the dogma is, is that what I'm dealing, what I want to, what I want to deal with is the dogma of hate. You know, they always want to tell you get 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 that get that hate out your heart. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so like it. See here, cause I, I ran into another one. Uh, but uh, Amos five and fifteen. It says in Amos 5 15, you know, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. So the Most High is telling us to hate the evil and to love the good. But as soon as you bring up hate to a, a, um, a Christian, they shell up. They shell up. You know why? Because they, they just basically want to do what they want to do. And they want the world to love them for it. If it's if it's being incompetent, if it's being wicked, if it's being a slut, if it's being a a a, a, um, a worldly nigger, you know what I'm saying? They want the world to love them for it. So they always push that love doctrine, you know. So what is love according to the Bible? All right. So love, uh, uh, First John chapter five verse three says, "For this is the love of the Most High, for this is the love of the Most High that we keep His commandments, <clears throat> and His commandments are not grievous." Okay. So now let's and, and with, with with these 
what these wacky tacky Christians do is that they use certain verses, but they don't go in depth with these verses. Um, and, and they they just generalize it. You know what I'm saying? For for lack of better words. So I want to look this one scripture up. Uh, let's see here. Give me one second, I can stop you. This is their favorite. This is their favorite uh, scripture. So we're gonna go into. Uh, we're gonna go into. Yeah, yeah. First Corinthians chapter. Uh, 13. Okay. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 says, Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunt not itself, is not puffed up. Uh, so, <clears throat> people will try to use uh, this scripture that uh, they try to use the scripture. And use it as though, you know, the charity is, um, let me see here. I'm going to go into the, the word charity in itself. You know, uh, let's see here. It's like here. And they try to use that as the word love. And, and uh, let's see here. It just says, charity long suffereth, suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity born itself, and it's not puffed up. You know what I'm saying? Uh and I believe there's another one. There's another one that I wanted to get, but I'm going to deal with this one right now. All right. Let's see here. 13, 4. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, so charity, charity is in synonymous with the word love. The word love. And charity, uh, as a root word or Greek, is the same word. It's basically uh, agape. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is synonymous with love, charity, dear, charitably, uh, feast of charity. So charity, it says affection, goodwill, love, benevolence, brotherly love, love, love feasts. So it says, you know, basically love suffereth long and is kind, charity, and envy if not. Charity vaunteth not itself, and it's not puffed up. So people will sit there and say this is what love is toward everything. You know what I'm saying? That's not toward everything. These are towards the will of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Ashai. Charity suffereth long, you know what I'm saying, toward the will of Yahweh Shimei Ashai. It doesn't, it doesn't suffer for long of, of uh, homosexuality, you know what I'm saying, or unjust balances or injustice or uh, breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, period. It says love is, and, and is kind. Love is kind. What? Love is kind toward the law, statutes, and commandments. Love envy if not, okay? Uh, love envy, envy if not. Love don't, you know what I'm saying, sit there and uh, it's not toward everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean you're not supposed to envy at all. You know what I'm saying? Uh See here, get the word envy. The word envy is uh, be envious, envy. See here, envy is is the jealous rivalry, jealousy. You know, to envy, hate. You know what I'm saying? But the scriptures say, hate the evil and love the good. Is the Bible a contradiction? It says, cast an evil eye upon. All right. Uh, uh, from in upon, what E N is upon, it says, uh, the deer to see, to see upon, you know what I'm saying? And, and basically, look at, look upon somebody with a, a evil eye, you know what I'm saying? So, so love envieth not your, your brother, basically, you know what I'm saying? Love envieth not the law. You're not supposed to look at the Bible with an evil eye, nor, uh, any of the, 
the Akin, so to speak, okay? So this is characteristics of love, and love is to keep the commandments. That is the definition of love, all right? So they, they use that uh, in misunderstanding of what on how to use it. Ain't nothing wrong with hating. Ain't nothing wrong with love, man, okay? You're supposed to hate the evil, love the good, okay? You're supposed to hate um, um, being disobedient to the Lord. You're supposed to have, have a hate for that. Okay, but let's get let's get in, into the more nitty gritty of it. All right, because you can hate people. All right, everybody act like you you know, uh, you're supposed to be cool with everybody. You're not supposed to be cool with everybody. That's not how shit works, man. Uh, uh so so this is Psalms one thirty nine and twenty two. All right, it says, "Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O Most High." Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men, for they speak against thee wickedly, okay? And thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? So who, who we know for a fact that hate the Lord? Atheists? You know? Uh, uh, Satanists? Okay? So you're not supposed to hate them? You know, we was on the highway like a while ago. Good thing was sometimes last year. And a, and, and a guy, an Arab, was coming up to us bucking up. And he was, he was talking shit. Saying, you know, we're basically we tripping because we're condemning homosexuals. We're condemning Esau. We're condemning all these nations. And he said, you know, that's not a guy. And I asked him, is he cool with, with uh cool with homosexuals basically are you cool with that he said yeah you're supposed to show love but the scriptures say do not i hate them O lord that hate thee you see it says in verse 22 i hate them with a perfect hatred i count them mine enemies okay so you're supposed to you're supposed to choose a side man you're supposed to choose choose a side uh when it comes to uh serving the lord y'all about to me out shot but the wacky tacky Christians believe that you're supposed to love everybody, basically just condoning their wicked ways. All right. So what it says in Joshua 24, 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the, on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we shall serve. We will serve the Lord. You supposed to choose a side, man. You can't love the whole world. That's 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 um, that's redundant, man. You know what I'm saying? That is is impossible. Cause you can't you can't love one and, and, and um love the other. You're gonna hate one and hate the other. You know? That's just how it works, man. Alright. So let's see here. So and, and and uh my point to to prove the point uh let's see I don't want to pass nothing up. Sirach chapter thirty three verse eleven. It says, "In much knowledge the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse." Some about Adam, right? Men that came from Adam. Some of them have he blessed and exalted, and some of them have he sanctified and set near himself. All right, and some of them have he cursed and brought low, and turned out of their place. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it as his pleasure, at his pleasure, so is man in the hand of him that made him to render to them as he liketh him liketh him best. Good is set against evil, verse fourteen, and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. I await up last of all as one that gathereth after um, grape gatherers. By the blessing of the Lord I profited and tread my winepress like, I gather, um, like a gatherer of grapes. Consider that I labor not for myself, but for all them that seek learning. So... 
This this is just an add on. This, the, the point was that at fourteen, good is set against evil. But you know, we're not doing this for us. We're we're doing it for the for the order of the world. It's got to be order. You can't just freelance and do what you want. You can't just love everybody because that's a passive aggressive way to deal with your problems, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to 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 face your problems head on. You got to be able to um be uncomfortable. You got to be able to make other people uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? It don't it don't matter. So all everything is for truth's sake. That's what you came to the Bible for, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Not for but I I'll be I would be remiss if I said that because a lot of you niggas is coming for blessings and in the uh the anointing and the fervent love of God. You know what I'm saying? But you don't expect that it's a it's a um there are, are obligations that 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 stem from that that stem with that. You see, you know what I'm saying. So when you come to serve the Lord, it tells you to prepare your soul for temptation. It tells you to you know armor up, man. You know. So I'm gonna get this last scripture. You know, cause it's the Lord hates the Lord hates wicked niggas, man. And the Lord tells us to hate wicked niggas. That's just that. Like, there ain't no way around it. There ain't no way around it. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all got the, y'all got the uh, characteristics of the Lord, you know, fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all perceive him to be a whole different person. You know? All right, so in Luke 19 and 27, it says, But those mine enemies, which were not that I should reign over them, bring them, uh, bring hither and slay them before me. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, that came out the Lord's mouth himself. Okay? So it's, it's all about choosing a side, because if you're not going to worship or serve the Lord, then you're an enemy. All right? You're not serving the Lord. Okay? So that's that's why the Lord said, that's when, when Pontius Pilate, Ask him about, you know, aren't you the king? Can't you do this? And, and, and ain't this your kingdom? Ain't these your people? He said, if these are my people, they'll fight for me, man. You know what I'm saying? These, the ones that are with the Lord are fighting. All right? So if you're not fighting, you know what I'm saying? A, a person that's fighting is supposed to have a hatred for that person that's not fighting, man. That's not doing what they're supposed to do. So all this loving everybody, uh, a motherfucker that's twirling their thumbs, sitting on the ass, a motherfucker that's... Totally contrary, that's, that's a bucking up against the um the will of Yahbashim Yashad. Those are the people you're supposed to hate. You know? You're supposed to hate being wicked. Yourself as a person, man. You're supposed to detest that, man. Abhor it. Not love everything, man. You can't love everything. It's impossible, man. It's stupid. But uh, like I said, you, you Christians use that as a, a cop-out to do whatever the hell you want. To, to not judge anybody, to not let... Not, not get your hands dirty, man. You know? So, um, I hope that I was edifying. This is a little, it's a little milk lesson, you know? So, you know, uh, Lord willing, uh, we continue in the work. So, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, our right hand, double honor, our apostle, our elders, our GMS, and blessed society, to your brothers at that teaching and enduring truth and sincerity. Shalom.